Hey guys, Anthony Massey here, and I want to take you guys behind the lyrics of my newest single, If This Is It. Stay tuned if you want to listen. Every now and then you have a certain song in particular that expresses a little bit more vulnerability and shows a little bit of a different side of you. And that's really what this whole album that I'm working on is about. Um, it talks about so many topics that I've never talked about before in my prior album and in my prior music. So I really wanted to take the time to talk about the lyrics a little bit more, talk about the storytelling, talk about the reason for all of this coming about. And this song in particular tells a unique story about love, falling in love, just being open to the acceptance of love. And that's something that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm going to take you through section by section and break down what the story is all about. I never meant to hurt you, but I know it did. And before it did, I wasn't looking for you. When you landed on my lap, ooh, I love you. Words I never thought I'd say, but you're not like the rest. You were brave and professed, open up and undress, gave yourself, took my breath. So that first verse is actually a direct storytelling of when I met the person that I'm talking about. And that person knows who they are. Um, the first couple lyrics say, I never meant to hurt you, but I know I did. And before I did, I wasn't looking for you when you landed on my lap. And I was in a place where one, I was not comfortable enough with myself. I was not out. I was not looking for anybody. If anybody was asking me, you know, oh, do you have a girlfriend, this, that, and the other thing? I didn't even want to get anywhere into that because kind of twofold. One, because I wasn't, you know, accepting of myself. And two, I was not really in a place where I thought I was ever really going to meet somebody. So I would just always kind of go down the route of, oh, I'm not interested in that. Oh, I'm focused on work. I'm focused on a career. If it happens, it happens, but that's not really a priority to me. So anybody that would ever ask me about it, I would really just kind of shut them down. Um, which is why I'm saying I, I wasn't looking for you, which is the truth. But also when I met this person, a couple weeks into being with them, they said they loved me. And I remember my exact response to them was, you don't love me, you love the idea of me. And for me, looking back on it now, I can understand how hurtful that might be if somebody was developing feelings for somebody and you didn't hear, I love you too back, but instead we're told, you don't love me, you love the idea of me. But I knew that the timing of everything and I felt that it was more of a fixation and I didn't know what it was gonna turn into at the time. So that's where the lyric, I never meant to hurt you comes from. Um, and then it goes on to say, I love you, words I never thought I'd say, but I'm, you're not like the rest. You were brave and professed, open up and undress, gave yourself, took my breath. Really saying that this person gave themselves to me entirely. They were comfortable enough with themselves to be with me. They were accepting of me. They loved me and kind of taught me how to love myself. And it kind of needed to come full circle in order for me to realize that. But because they were that accepting with me and made me feel loved, it kind of turned me into a different person and really changed my energy and the way that I view myself. And I know I wouldn't have the positive outlook I have on myself now if it weren't for this person. So that's kind of what the whole first verse is about. Flowers and coffee shops, butterflies and milk's golden heart. Didn't want to believe it was you. Meet at the park post work, guilty blush and innocent smirk. Jimmy really came out of the blue. So the pre-chorus is kind of also a direct storytelling of the interactions that I would have with this person when we were first dating. Um, I was working at Starbucks at the time. I never forget they sent flowers to the store. I was so embarrassed. I was mortified. I played it off like, well, I really didn't think they were for me at first, to be honest. And then when it turned out they were for me, I think I just completely got red in the face and I acted like I kind of knew who they were from, but not really. And I just wasn't being fully transparent at the time. Um, and so that's where the whole flowers and coffee shops line comes from. Didn't want to believe it was you. I like kind of knew and I was like, no way is this really from this person. Um, and then it says meet at the park post work, guilty blush and innocent smirk. Jam, you really came out of the blue. 
that was kind of like our little ritual. Like he would always be in the area conveniently. And then whenever I got off work, we would kind of just meet in the park and talk and hang out and whatever. And um, that became our thing. And that was my little activity to look forward to after work. If this is it, I'm gonna open my heart up if this is it. I'm gonna loosen my guard up if this is it. No, if this is it, gonna give my love to all of you. Your father, your being, the magnitude. Your nature receiving my gratitude. Faith and love renewed. Gonna give my love to you. I remember writing this chorus and I remember thinking, if this is it, is such a timeless phrase. And I really wanted to write something that was timeless, beautiful, wasn't really going to age, and was going to have a sentiment that would be, that would resonate with people. And I wanted it to be about this aha moment with love, where if you're somebody like myself who was super closed off to love and not really accepting of it, not really accepting of yourself, because it starts with you. And if you're not in that place, it's, you know, they say it, it, you're always gonna find love when you least expect it, or it's gonna come to you when you're least looking for it. But even if it comes to you when you're least looking for it, you're not gonna be accepting of it if you're not accepting of yourself. So it's kind of, this chorus is twofold with having that aha moment with yourself, but also having that aha moment saying, okay, if this really is it, if this is love in the purest form, Am I really gonna open myself up to this person and be authentic to myself and this person and just not really care about what other people think in my case, because things are a little bit more complicated. Um, and that's what this is saying. It says, yes, if this is it, I'm going to open my heart up. If this is it, I'm going to loosen my guard up. If this is it, if this is it, I'm gonna give my love to all of you. Your fiber, your being, the magnitude of your nature receiving my gratitude, faith and love renewed gonna give myself to you. And it's really just about being thankful, being gracious, being totally free of judgment and inhibitions and opening yourself up to this beautiful thing that we sometimes get to experience in life. When you look into my eyes, do you see the pain? Do you hear the rain, the storm I try to disguise? The wreckage shape, the baggage store. Who you read me open, and you found a part of me at the bottom, misplaced. Tossed me off into race, evidence with the trace of my heart's hiding place. I remember writing this part and thinking that I was somebody that had a lot of baggage that had a past, not baggage like, you know, you see on those reality TV shows where it's like, I have six baby mamas and trillions of dollars of debt. Like not baggage like that, but I just remember think, feeling a little bit, almost like a broken person. And this section, you know, when it, I, I, I think it's really delicately told and beautiful where it says, when you look into my eyes, do you see the pain? Do you hear the rain, the storm I tried to disguise? The wreckage tape, the baggage stored. You ripped me open and you found a part of me. At the bottom misplaced, dust me off into race. Evidence with a trace of my heart's hiding place. And I think that's really about tucking my heart so far away and being in this zone of I'm so independent, I don't need somebody to complete me. And um, you know, that you just think, you just you just kind of detach from that. You just you really detach from the idea that you're ever going to meet somebody. And I was fully convinced that I was either gonna go down one of two roads. I was either never gonna meet somebody and just be somebody that worked really, really hard and was gonna be super successful on my own but have nobody necessarily to share it with. Or I was going to force myself to be with a woman, marry a woman, have kids, live a life and never be fulfilled. And I thought it was going to go one of those two directions. And I thought those were the only cards that I was dealt. And that's kind of what this section is saying, you know, talking about my heart's hiding place, um, the wreckage tape, the baggage stored. Saying that you ripped me open means like you really got to the core of me. And this person gave me the confidence within a couple months to come out and tell my best friends and tell my family and bring this person around because I wasn't ashamed to showcase them. 
Um, and the song, again, is just about being gratitude and gracious and offering that over. All of the little things that you do, how you dance and sing, and the calling me up on my fire for you. Roof off the Wrangler Sport, now the stamp of my heart's passport. Tell me, really came out of the blue. I love this section because like the prior pre-chorus, they're direct storytelling. So like the previous one talked about meeting at a coffee shop, the flowers that he sent for me, meeting at the park after work. This one is all about, I remember just vividly being in the car and we were in the car so much together because a lot of what we did in the beginning was kind of under wraps. I was not out yet. I was keeping it from my friends and my family. He was going through his own situation. And I just remember being in the car and that was kind of like our happy place. And, you know, saying all the little things, how you do, how you dance and sing and being quirky and all those moments where he made me laugh and feel like a goofball. Like that was when I really realized I was falling for this person. Um, and I have a Jeep Wrangler. So the other part says roof off the Wrangler sport, another stamp in my heart's passport, because this person is a really spontaneous person. And I'm a rather regimented schedule planning type A personality person. Um, and if it weren't for this person being so spontaneous, it wouldn't get me out of my comfort zone to do with a lot of the things that I've done and experienced over the past couple of years. Um, so that's what that section is about because they really did get me to do a lot of the things I never would have done. And in that sense, opposites do attract and really balance each other out because you, it's that give and take in a relationship that's really important. And since we already talked about the chorus, um, same chorus, same sentiment, we're gonna skip to the bridge. And I hope that you want me, now that I need you. And I hope that you hear me when I say I do. And I hope that you realize exceptions are true. So this section was really for me looking forward, saying how really things have come full circle. And it used to be me really wanting this person. And now, I mean, it used to be this person really wanting me and me saying, hold up, you just like the idea of me. But now it's saying, I hope that you want me now that I need you because now I've fallen in love with you and you've changed who I am and I've become a better person because of you and I can't imagine my life without you. And you know, we went through trials and tribulations in our relationship and we had a long distance thing and that really got hard for a while. And it's saying kind of role reversal where you go through that period of dependency in your honeymoon phase and being super transparent here, that's not really a healthy thing to go through but I think it's also fair to acknowledge it and say that it's somewhat normal to a sense because you go from being so independent and then this person just comes into your life and completely knocks you off your feet and changes everything that you thought you've ever known about yourself. And you can become a little bit dependent on them. And I was always very insecure about coming that per becoming that person that was not really, you know, that would prioritize somebody else over their friends and family. And I think that's a hard thing to go through. I never wanted to be the person that blew off my friends for my boyfriend or blew off my family for my boyfriend. And I really tried to make a concerted effort not to do that. But sometimes you have people in your life where it's difficult to understand that your attention might be going to something new. Um, so saying that, you know, I hope that you want me now that I need you, I think is a really good way of putting what I was going through. I hope that you hear me when I say I do, kind of is super down the line that if it really ends up, if this is it with this person, if this is my end all be all, you know, saying I do, proposing. And then, um, and I hope that you realize exceptions are true for you. That I was willing to make every exception and give every part of myself for this person because I felt it was true and raw and honest and a real thing that was happening in my life. I'm gonna give all of my love to you. I'm gonna give all of my love to you. I'm gonna give all of my love to you. My love to you. And I think that last part really speaks for itself. Um, I wanted to do behind the lyrics on the song because like I said, this expresses a side of me that I don't feel I've ever expressed before. Um, it shows a vulnerability. It shows a real openness to me talking about coming out and acceptance and self-love. And this is something that I talk about so much more in the album. So if you are intrigued by the topics in this song, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about the lyrics, the song, the storytelling, anything in general. If you haven't listened to the single prior to this, 
New Beauty Old Soul. I will also put the link for that down below. I made a really awesome lyric video, if I do say so myself, to go along with that. And um, we just have so much more to come. I should have another single coming in December. So stay tuned and thank you guys for watching and following. Bye.